Welcome back to Monster High Shorts. Forbidden Zone. Welcome back to Monster High Shorts. The Forbidden Zone. Nefera, what are you doing by the Forbidden Zone? Are you also trying to prove your sister wrong? Oh, no, I was just thinking of a way to get 250 bucks per hour. And I thought keeping people out of the forbidden zone is the best. Even though hardly anybody walks down this corridor. Oh, I want to enter the forbidden zone to prove my sister wrong. Are you out of your mind? If you enter the forbidden zone, you'll never be able to get out. I've heard the legend. I don't care. My sister will be happy that I'm finally gone. So this is the best place to hide forever. I can't hide in the girls' bathroom. The vampires hate me in there. There is nothing you can do to get you into this forbidden zone. I will lose this job. You heard what happened to Operetta. I don't care if she died. That will be the best hiding spot for me. Up in heaven. Pauline, you're taking a huge risk. I'm not going to let you. <gasps> oh my. I see five golden bars, rings, and famous kitty couture diamonds. <gasps> what? Where? <laughs> Sucker. And now nobody is going to take me out. <laughs> oh, oh, oops. Still don't believe Howlin would do something like that. <laughs> Why are you screaming, Nefera? Well, Howling was just talking to me that she wanted to go into the Forbidden Zone, but she said that she spotted five golden bars, rings, and famous pink couture diamonds. Or was it Kitty Couture? Girl, my sister played you. Didn't you figure that out? She played me. Hmm, I am not familiar with this kind of slang, but she will pay back. Well, right now she could be devoured by that vicious bear I heard that's in the Forbidden Zone. <sighs> so many people have been bitten in there. Sometimes I even call it the Forbidden Zone. Should be the new name for it. Definitely. Claudine, aren't you worried that something might happen to your sister? No, I'm not a big fan of her. That is just plain rude. We have got to do something to get her out of there. But you heard... Once you go in, you can't come out. Hello? Hello? Freak. What was that? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Aw, you're just an adorable little panda. Oh, you're a little bit fat. Have you been eating lately? Wait, but there's nothing in this forbidden zone. What do you eat? I was forced to eat somebody. That's kind of cruel. But who forced you? The person herself. Since I have been keeping all the fish that I've eaten before I came into the forbidden zone, I've kept it in my stomach. And since I told the person that was in here with me, she decided to go into my stomach and eat all of it up. Hmm. Can I meet this person? Okay, but I'm gonna have to vomit her up and it won't be a very pretty picture. Trust me, I've seen my sister naked in a bath. Nothing's worse than that. Okay. Here it goes. Who are you, various monster? That's none of your business. But really, this one girl operator got lost in here and I'm afraid she's dead and you might be a sister or a relative or family of some kind. Oh no, little doll. I am operator. Oh my gosh! Where are the people here? You're alive! But I left my phone in my locker and now that I'm in the forbidden zone, I can't leave. I'm going to miss my eye coffin. Well, you made the right decision. I hated it at that school. All the popular kids hated me. And even the regular and even nerds wouldn't hang out with me. I was less than a nerd. Back in time when Operetta wasn't in the Forbidden Zone. Hey, can I sit with you guys? Uh, where? 
kind of busy. <laughs> um, okay then. Do you think she bought it? I think so. I had no more options but attempt to ask the popular group. I didn't want to take that risk. And then all of a sudden, they made fun of me. And I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> the everyday same wearing t-shirt, wearing dweeb. <laughs> Why is those sprinkles in your ears, your mascara, or your tears? <laughs> Leia's choice was the nerds. Frankie wasn't a nerd, but she was interested in learning how to hack somebody. Wow, Guya, you make hacking on scares app so easy. So good. Can I sit with you guys? Sorry, but me and Guya made an agreement. We won't sit with anybody that wears the same t-shirt every day. Or should I say dress? That was the last straw. I tricked Nefer with the same prank you tricked her and I made it into the forbidden zone. The dungeon door shut tight. I tried to escape because I realized I made the wrong answer. But I couldn't. Oh, <laughs> that's when I met my first friend. She came walking up to me with her favorite orange scarf that she's still wearing today. Hey, it's my favorite. Her name was Melody. She came out from a hospital because she was kept there hostage like an abandoned child. As I saw a shadow, I turned to the other way and screamed. When I realized after five seconds the bear didn't eat me, I thought I might as well make friends. Those days I didn't have much of a country accent. I had a light accent. Hey there, my name's Operator. Melody! Hi! I love in the forbidden zone. Thinking how to survive, I asked Melody if she still had some food that had to be digested in her stomach. He said no because she kept all her digested food in her stomach, not letting her waste because where would she throw all her poop? And we we started eating up all the food I could find. <laughs> and that's the story of me. I grew up very poorly. Even back into the future. When I was still a teenager, I couldn't attend school. I lived, grew up in the country. I was forced to listen to gun shooting every single day. Sheriffs were always dying. But this new sheriff, Amos, really, really changed me and decided that I should stick up and do what's right for me. So I joined high school. And yeah, 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 I was a dweeb. That's how I got into these forbidden zone areas. And that was the story of me. So you're trying to say that you grow poorly. Some sheriff taught you a lesson. You came to school, you were a nerd, and you ended up in the forbidden zone. Yeah. Way to kill the story. If you're going to live here, you're going to have to climb into Melody's stomach. <laughs> I'm totally gonna regret this. You're a wolf. You've been eating rare steak your whole life. Oh yeah, I have two worst tummy aches. Nobody poops in my stomach. <gasps> I'm gonna regret this. Ooh. Oh, come on. Who pooped in my stomach? <laughs>